Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go over Lisa Eldridge new launch. It is her skin enhancing skin tint and her sculpt and shade lip pencil. I'm really excited about this one because you guys know how much I like Lisa Eldridge and I hope I really like this product. But it's supposed to, it seems very amazing. Um, if you go to her website, you'll see that she has, I believe, 18 shades in the lineup and on her lip pencil, I believe it's 10 shades. So it's really cool. The whole concept seems like it's supposed to be uh, more of giving you a natural look. Also enhancing your beauty, your natural beauty. Now on her foundation, not her foundation, now on her skin tint, I chose T5. And I chose T5 because in her website, it seems like that is probably closest to my skin tone, I hope. It is more of a olive undertone, which it's really it's really rare to find. I don't know. I don't, don't know why, but to have an olive undertone out there is very, very in my in my opinion, it's a little rare. But anyway, I chose T5, and her skin tint it is 70% skincare benefits, and it is. Fresh, luminous, and light coverage tint in a feel in a feel good formula made of 70% 70, 70 skin care ingredients for replenished, healthy, and plumped looking skin. It is a unique hybrid formula of enhancing tint to work seamlessly to even tone, lift shadows, tone down redness, and boost luminosity. Think your skin, but on the best day. So that's exciting. So let's try this. Like I said, I have, I chose T5, let me shake it up. And on her video, on her YouTube video, she applied her, her mist. I've already have my eyebrows done and what else? I moisturize my skin normally, nothing fancy. So she, mist she tapped it in she tapped it in just like that okay and she shook up the bottle the bottle is really cute it looks like an egg and it's very similar to her foundation just a lot smaller as you can see here and this is just a little flatter and it's one fluid ounce and it reminds me a little bit of Chanel's Vita Lumiere very much like that one maybe maybe it was inspired by her by Chanel's Vita Lumiere and take this off in a squeeze bottle it's a squeeze bottle nice and okay definitely olive tone definitely you can see that wow okay it is has somewhat of a thicker consistency it is definitely between a Oh, has no scent. Oh, wow. You can see that it definitely just melted into my skin. Wow, so I think I did choose the right one. Wow, okay. I'm going to apply a couple of drops. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna focus here because I do have some blemishes. Let's see. Oh wow. Okay, so <laughs> this is so nice. So you can see the difference uh, from this is my left side, and my right side. It gave me just a very natural 
even tone complexion. You can see, definitely see my dark circles on my left side and it's sort of just um, a little bit less noticeable on my right side. Wow, it looks great. So far so good. It feels very nice. The consistency is, gosh, I think I chose the right shade as well. Right, you can go back. Just to cover up the other sort of pinpoint, you know, like the other areas that you want to just cover up a little bit more. Wow, I think, well, let me just tell you, I think this is the best, not, not just foundation, but skin tint match I've ever had. <laughs> I've never, it's either too orangey or too yellow. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You cannot see, it looks, might look like my skin. It really does. I chose the right one, definitely. So if you are, anyone out there, if you are, my skin tone, T5 is it. T5 is perfect. Here's all of my redness on my left side, and here is the one cup with the Lisa Eldridge tint. So amazing. So far, so good. Wow. Nice luminosity, nice little coverage. It's not heavy at all, but you, you do feel. Um, Sort of a, not the, I guess sort of a, like sort of, in, it is in between a skin, a regular skin tint and the foundation. It's just right in the middle, just where you want it to be. Especially, you know, if you want a little bit more coverage than a skin tint, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Now let me go ahead and cover up the other side. That's how much I'm applying. Okay, so this is full face. Wow, I really, I'm really, really impressed. I think it's beautiful. Um, it definitely doesn't cover, have a full, a full, it's definitely not full coverage, definitely not. Your actual skin still comes through, but it just looks better like, um, it covers up the red and it covers up a bit of your, of you know, the other flaws, but it's still, it's still very natural. See that? Can you guys see that? Still see a little bit of my dark circles that of course need to, hopefully she comes up with a, a concealer pretty soon, but it gives you a very nice luminosity with just enough coverage where you feel like your best skin. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Wow, I'm impressed. And I like how it's a squeezy bottle. I think it's really cute. I think it's very much travel friendly. It's not very big. It fits right in, the, in, your, in the palm of your hand and very impressive. Now, let me compare it quickly with the Hourglass Skin Tint. And this is the one that I chose last year, number eight. It is, as you can see, see right now, this is a lot waterier. You can see a little uh, runnier than Lisa's. So this is the Hourglass shade at number eight, and this is the okay. 
Hourglass number eight, and this is, of course, Lisa, Lisa Skin Tint. Big difference in shade. And let's see that. What a difference. When you can see this one, it completely just disappears into my skin. You can see how different that is. So impressive. I'm excited! Now let's try the lip pencil. The lip pencil is a sculpt and shade lip pencil and I chose number 1W as its own sharpener, which I love. This line has 10 shades and these are uh, what she says they are sort of neutral shades or not neutral shades, but more of Blurry, it's a blurry matte soft focus lip pencil and skin true natural lip tones. So they have different shades of your lip tones. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, that is super nice. So let me compare this one. It's supposed to be a matte, but also very blurry and also um, okay, so this shade 1W. Now I have Lisa's Lisa's other lip pencil, which is her original lip pencil, Enhanced and Defined Lip Pencil, and this is in Fawn. So I just wanted to see the difference. Okay. okay so this is Fawn and this is 1W. And Fawn goes, it's very smooth, soft. And this one, her shade is called, it's a little harder, I'd say. Let's see the difference here. So it glides on nicely, but it is, it does feel a little bit less soft than her other lip pencil formula. But as you can see, it's applying nicely. It is a soft matte look and it is skin tone like. It's really pretty actually. I do love it. Wow. I do love it. Feels really nice. It's it is easy to sculpt and it's not going to blur or uh, now let me go ahead and finish up this look and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, this is the final look. I use the liquid Lorex in Titania for the eyes just quickly and I applied the Elevated Glow Highlighter in Crystal Nebula. And I did not set it with any powder, but I did apply the bronzer in the Hourglass Palette number one, the bronzer and a little bit of the blush. And that is it. I love this foundation. It gives just the right amount of coverage and it's, as her YouTube video said, it is really in between a, a skin tint and a, um, a foundation. It's really right in the middle. It really gives you just enough coverage, but yet it's light and it does give you a very healthy skin look. Love it. I am in love with it. And also the, the best part of it is the undertones. 
key five, if you are my skin tone, if you, if you use me as reference, T5 is a winner. I really love it. It, I always have an issue with, of course, a lot of us do, um, with finding the right shade color and this don't have to worry about it. It is amazing. It looks good. It looks just like my skin. So I'm really impressed by that. The Sculpt and Shade Lip Liner, I think it goes on very nicely considering that it is a matte and it went out with no problem. And I love the color. The color is very much of a natural lip color. And that's it guys. I really hope you liked this video. Uh, have a beautiful day. Happy Easter. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and leave any comments that you like as far as any products you would like me to show you. And thank you for watching. Bye.